Let's solve a question on dimensional analysis. So here we have an equation which is that v that is velocity that is equal to under root of a b plus b t plus c divided by d plus t. And we need to figure out the units of a b c and d. So before I go ahead, why don't you pause the video and give this one a try. All right. Now we know that the physical quantities can be added or subtracted only if they have the same dimensions. So if you have velocity on the left hand side and you have three, three quantities that are being added, they must have the same units as that of the velocity and the unit of velocity, the unit of velocity is meter per second, right? Velocity is meters per second. So if we write it in the form of dimensions, this will be, this will be L that is for meter t minus one because second is in the denominator. Now all of these quantities under root of a b plus b t plus c d plus t all of them individually will also have this particular dimension. Right. So with that with that information, let's try and figure out the units of a b c and d. Let's pick up the one which has only one only one unknown physical quantity. So if you pick up B T, we know that the dimension of T is it's just capital T and it must B T must have the dimensions. It must have the dimensions of L T minus one, right? And T in itself, T in itself is capital T. So the units of B, the units of B, if we write it in this way, B, this is time, this should be L T minus one. The units of B, they turn out to be equal to, they should be l t minus two, right? Only if minus two gets added to plus one, it becomes minus one. So it becomes t minus one. Now b is l t minus two. Now let's go, let's go to, let's go to under root of a b. We know the units of b. We know that this physical quantity under root of a b, it should have a unit of l t minus one meter per second. So if b is l t minus two, let me write that over here. This will be, this will be, let me scroll this slightly. This will be under root of a, which we don't know. And this is being multiplied with the dimension of L T minus two, right? This should be equal to the dimension of L T minus one length time minus one. Now, if a has the dimensions of L, then it becomes, then this really becomes under root of L to the power two and T to the power minus two. And when we remove the under root, this will become L T minus one equal to the units of the velocity. So dimensions of A, they, they come out to be equal to just dimensions of length. Now let's look at C divided by D plus T. So for that, for that C divided by D plus T, this should also have the units of L T minus one, right? And in the denominator, we are adding D to time. So D should also have the same units as that of time, which is as T. So denominator in itself has the dimensions of T. You are adding something to something to time dimensions of dimensions of D will also be T. So uh, C should just be length, right? L and therefore C divided by D plus T will really become L T minus one because T is in the denominator. All right. So units of A, they are just length units of B. They are L T minus two. C is just L and D is just T.